my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that I get a lot of questions on and that is my vintage dress collection. Vintage dresses are one of my absolute favorite pieces and today I'm going to be showing you guys what to look for when you're buying a vintage dress and also how to style them so that you don't look like a grandma. The first look is this white vintage dress in a floral print. Since this dress is super vintage, I wanted to style it in a modern way. So the first thing I did is to add a really cool belt. This wide circle belt immediately gave the dress a modern look and also helped to cinch the waist. Since the dress is super girly, I decided to pair it with sneakers for a more dress down vibe. But I didn't just choose any sneakers, I chose sneakers with pearl embellishments on them so that it still goes with the girly theme of the dress. For my handbag, I debated between a vintage handbag or a modern one and ultimately decided on a modern bag in a lilac color as there are hints of lilac in the dress as well. Styling a vintage piece is all about balance and finding those items that complement the piece and create harmony. Lastly, I completed my modern vin vintage look with white vintage ear cuffs. In the second outfit, I'm actually wearing a vintage nightgown as a dress, believe it or not. The most important thing to solve for was the sheer element. Finding a right slip to layer under a vintage nightgown can admittedly be very difficult and I have to try multiple options before finding the right one. I settled on a sheer black lace dress that is actually meant to be worn as a slip. So essentially I layered two sheer dresses together, with the key being that the layer underneath is a darker color, thus making the top layer look not as sheer. I also like that the black lace dress is longer than the nightgown, allowing the pretty lace to peer out. This gives the outfit dimension and movement, making the nightgown much more wearable as a dress. The accessories are also important when it comes to styling a vintage nightgown. I chose modern elements to add sophistication, including a pair of pink mirror glasses and a yellow leather handbag. This handbag gives the outfit a touch of luxury and also complements the yellow in the dress. For my shoes, I went with black floral heeled sandals to match the black sheer lace of the dress. This whole outfit is so feminine and light and exudes a sense of whimsy that can only come from wearing a vintage nightgown. This third look features my favorite vintage dress of all time. This colorful blue and yellow print dress is a true standout. In fact, I wore this for New York Fashion Week last year and was featured in a number of street style articles. When I tried on this dress, it was a little too big and low cut on top. However, I noticed that the dress came with a necktie, so I decided to wrap the tie around my neck to create a choker effect that also tightened the top of the dress. A tip for vintage shopping is to look beyond what you see on the hanger. If something is too big or doesn't fit right, but you love the piece, there are alterations you can make or hacks simply by wearing the piece in a different way. So think outside the box when it comes to shopping vintage and trust me, you won't regret it. To style this dress, I paired it with a pink wooden bag that just screams summer. This bag is a dupe of the Colgea bag, but for a fraction of the price. Plus, it's pink, which is even better than the real Colgea bag anyways. I chose classic vintage heels to complete this look. The natural color of the heels help balance the bright colors in this outfit. The fourth dress is by Unique Vintage and is actually not vintage, but made to look like vintage. So this is a great dress for someone who is new to vintage and might want to dip their toe in first before venturing out into hardcore vintage shopping. Unique Vintage is great as you can shop look-alike vintage pieces online and they have them available in all sizes. This dress totally reminded me of a 1950s housewife, so I decided to style it as such. I went with a yellow headband for a prim and proper vibe, and also chose a small yellow vintage handbag. A 1950s housewife essential was a small handbag that fits almost nothing at all, so that is key to achieving this look. I completed the outfit with my black floral sandals again that go with almost any dress, and delicate rose gold stud earrings. This last outfit features a vintage slip dress, a must-have piece for the summer that is just so effortless. I found this dress at the Brooklyn Flea Market and fell in love with the floral print and lace lining. It has a bit of a nightgown feel to it, but nothing that can't be solved with the right styling. I paired it with a pink chiffon kimono-like piece 
that instantly makes the slip more wearable. The light fabric on this piece makes it great as a summer layering piece in heavily air-conditioned offices. To truly take this outfit into the modern age, and even make it work appropriate in more casual office environments, I chose a burgundy crocodile leather satchel. I love playing with contrasts, so I went with a chunky wooden platform sandal to contrast against the delicate dress and chiffon robe. Lastly, I added a floral watch to match the floral print of the dress. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and that you're feeling inspired to buy a vintage dress next time you're at a vintage store. As usual, if you like what you see, please give this channel a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time.